Hi, uh, I'm Doug. I'm from Richmond in London. Uh, I'm at Durham University studying physics and maths, uh, and I'm here to try skydiving. Never done it before, but really excited. Yeah, hi there, I'm Jake Longworth. Uh, I'm 20. I'm from Devon at the moment, and uh, I go to Durham University studying international relations. Okay, first of all, we're going to complete the necessary documentation. I see some of you have already started them already. Uh, we'll also going to introduce the staff, some of the facilities, and uh, also the parachute landing area. Lock in and go! I started jumping, uh, my very first jump was the 21st of October 2006. Uh, I became an instructor in August 2010 um, and I absolutely love it. Now that material is actually known as ripstop material. Okay, so if a rip was to form on your, on your canopy, um, the rip isn't going to suddenly you know, rip the rest of the canopy, it's actually going to stop. Okay, dead simple. The name, you know, ripstop. Uh, nylon it's called, uh, that's basically what its job is, it stops the, uh, the nylon from ripping. The next thing we're going to look at is the steering of it. So what I need is for a couple of volunteers, anybody? Yeah, what's your name again? Doug. Doug? Okay, you're going to put on the, uh, the actual rig. Hey Doug, if you just want to climb underneath the, uh, <coughs> the risers there and the lines. Okay. Find the uh, tail here. There we go. Okay, so I want you to hold this side there. Yep. Okay. What I want you to do is take the yellow toggles and I want you to take control, pull them down. Yeah, and how easy was that? Dead simple, Very wasn't easy. it? The first easy factor, okay, is known as line twists. And what that is, is that when <coughs> You exit the aircraft, your lines become twisted like that. Everyone see those lines? <coughs> yeah, how it's twisted. We've just been going through like all the basic stuff so far. We've been doing about an hour of training and like started off just doing the paperwork and then just as we're falling asleep we kind of moved on to the uh, more interesting stuff like getting the parachute out and what to do if you know things go wrong. You get more nervous as you start to realise the number of things that can go wrong, like we've been just told three what they call nuisances. Um, you know, for example, when the parachute cords get tangled and you know how to deal with that. Yeah. Okay, if you bring your hands further down to your shoulder, that's about half breaks. If you Bring them down even further. That's like... Well, so yeah, in in the last session we uh, went through the like the procedures, so that how to exit the plane, the position you have to assume, the the the, the checks you have to assume, the canopy checks, the line checks, and the landing procedure. A lot of it's like common sense, and it's all but like mainly simple things. But it's still quite daunting to have a long list of instructions that you have to follow, and know that things could go wrong um, if you don't follow it like to the by the book. It's been quite a tiring day learning about everything, you know, life and death situations and how to deal with them. However, to end it all off, we've been shown into our bunk room, which turns out to be one of the most horrible places on the planet. Uh, and I've got a chance to walk past some of the bushes and buildings that I'll probably be landing on tomorrow. So, yeah. It wasn't the best night's sleep, to be honest. It's, uh, it's not exactly the wits in there. Uh, and uh, w one of the guys in there was coughing quite a lot all night, which, uh, which kept me up a while. You can see the weather, it's cloudy and drizzling, and so it seems very unlikely we're going to actually be able to jump, which feels like a bit of a letdown, really. Uh, and if we don't, it will be quite disappointing. Uh, but we're going to get on with all the training this morning, uh, and that should hopefully get me excited again, and probably feeling really nervous when, like, pretty much ready to go after that. We've just gone into the centre about to get our breakfast and um, seen a few videos of people jumping, and that kind of puts it all into you know, perspective, makes it all the more real, yeah. But as you can see, the weather isn't great, so still 50-50 whether we're going to jump or not. In the door, look in and go! 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, check, canopy. Malfunction! Arch, look, locate, peel, punch, pull, arch, check, canopy. Okay. Look in and go! 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, check, canopy. Okay. It was alright, but yeah. you jumped. 
Okay, so you're going to hit your head off the wing. Okay. Um, and also, you need to get that arch on straight away. Look in and go! 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, check, canopy, okay? It's all right, just make sure you get that arch on straight away, all right? And go! 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. I mean, like, for the first time, I'm starting to feel properly nervous because I've gone outside and there's some blue sky and uh, we've been through more procedures and it's all all becoming, you know, it's coming closer and closer. Yeah. Well, the nerves have definitely shot uh, right up and gone through all the emergencies and the, the possible things that could go wrong. And then to top it off, there's a video on uh, in the lounge of uh, sort of skydiving incidents. Uh, there was one guy stuck on like a cable, so that <laughs> hasn't done any, uh, any favours to my nerves. But uh, I have been assured that it has 99.9% of the time, or more, even more than that, is absolutely fine and nothing's going to go wrong. Definitely still going to go ahead with it. I'm not going to back out now. Uh, and it looks like it's clearing up, so possibly it could, could even get out today. The risks that we've been taught this morning are the less likely ones. You know, we've been told that they, they won't happen 99% um, of the time, but, you know, it's still scary, yeah. All right, guys, I hate to tell you about this, but uh, unfortunately, because of the weather conditions, you're not going to be able to jump today, I'm afraid. Oh. It is a shame, because uh, we've obviously psyched ourselves up for it and had all the training and got really excited, but uh, we'll be back on Wednesday or next weekend uh, to give it another go when the weather's better. Yeah, we've, we've basically been given one of these forms, these yellow slips, which means we can come back any time, hand this in, and you get to jump whenever the weather's good. Yeah. Good evening. Britain remains in the grip of the big freeze tonight and there is little sign of it easing. First light this morning revealed a picture postcard scene and traffic chaos. It is still snowing outside and yet again it's going to be another bitterly cold night. Keep the snow shovels at the ready. Snow continues to pile into northeastern parts of Britain. The northeast and North Yorkshire can expect more heavy snow showers over the next few days. No doubt about it, winter has come early this year and what a cold bite it is. Further heavy downpours of snow. While transport continues to be a problem for many because of the weather and it's only set to get worse. And this weather is here to stay. There is potential for much more snowfall. So Newcastle could be a tricky commute for you in the morning. All in all, it has been chaos.